Seven hacks to bioavailable sulforaphane contained in all cruciferous vegetables, but our focus is on broccoli as it has the highest concentration of sulforaphane. There are three concepts you should take away from this slide. Number one, the broccoli or sprout must be chopped or blended in order for glucoraphanin and myrosinase to interact and create sulforaphane. Number two, the myrosinase enzyme is heat sensitive. And number three, glucoraphanin and sulforaphane are both heat stable. First, we must establish that the myrosinase enzyme and the isothiocyanate glucoraphanin are in separate cell walls, and this must be chopped or blended to begin the chemical reaction to create the sulforaphane molecule. And voila, you have bioavailable sulforaphane. Chop and hold method. Chop raw broccoli and wait 45 minutes, which is the time researchers found it takes for the process to convert to heat-stable sulforaphane. After 45 minutes, you can steam the vegetables to decrease the goitrogenic effects and make other nutrients more bioavailable for your dog. Unfortunately, frozen broccoli won't get you any sulforaphane because it was blanched prior to freezing. This method destroys the heat-sensitive myrosinase. But guess what? You can provide exogenous myrosinase, and that's just a fancy term for myrosinase that comes outside of the original food item. Researchers found that mustard, also a cruciferous vegetable, has a stable and high amount of the myrosinase enzyme in its seed. Specifically, a fourth of a teaspoon of mustard powder for seven cups of broccoli is enough to yield a similar reaction of an endogenous myrosinase reaction. Basically, a pinch of mustard powder added to your warmed and chopped or blended previously frozen broccoli will resolve the issue. Unless you are precise in the temperature and duration of your cooking, you likely destroyed the myrosinase enzyme. So we're just going to use the previous hack and add exogenous myrosinase to our cooked broccoli in the form of mustard powder or any chopped or blended cruciferous vegetable mixed in with the cooked batch. The ultimate biohacker's approach to bioavailable sulforaphane for the mature broccoli head. Follow me here. We are going to heat a liquid to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and drop the broccoli in that for about 10 minutes. Researchers found that at this temperature, they were able to deactivate sulforaphane nitriles, which does not convey the benefits of the sulforaphane molecule. While maintaining the myrosinase enzyme for the conversion to sulforaphane, you then blend or chop and voila, you have three and a half times more bioavailable sulforaphane than in any other hack for the mature broccoli head. Raw broccoli sprouts. It's about to get real. You just take two to five day old broccoli sprouts and chop or blend. Serve to your dog and you have 10 to 100 times more bioavailable sulforaphane than any form of the mature broccoli head. The Ultra Ultimate Biohacker. This is the same hack that deactivates sulforaphane nitriles with the heat below the myrosinase heat point, but the soak temperature with the sprouts is 158 degrees Fahrenheit. We still get the three and a half times more bioavailable sulforaphane tagged on top of the previous hack. We are talking therapeutic doses designed to mimic research studies in our evidence-based videos. This can be used with low calorie and keto diets where calories and carbs from the broccoli would be enormous when trying to mimic these therapeutic doses. For those people who just want to buy one of the many pills on the market touting sulforaphane content, researchers at the Johns Hopkins University already tested hundreds of pills. First, the cost to the natural form is exponential. Secondly, researchers couldn't find any brands with comparable quantities of sulforaphane because the myrosinase enzyme isn't stable in this form. So it's best to follow one of these seven hacks for an affordable and fairly easy way to obtain the incredible benefits of the sulforaphane molecule. If you haven't already done so, be sure to watch the history, evidence, and process of sulforaphane for dogs, which also establishes the therapeutic dosage of sulforaphane you can calculate with your vet for your dog. And since sprouts are often contaminated and expensive at your local stores, watch my step-by-step -step video on how to make broccoli sprouts at home.